You had a wonderful week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Emmys were uh, just a delight. I was I was lucky enough to see you uh, right after you won your first one. Yes. There was sort of a backstage bar, and I was standing with Bill Hader, and you came in the room, and everybody was very happy for you. And Bill said, "How are you?" And you had an Emmy in your hand. And you said, "I'm really well." <laughs> And I thought that was a very honest, yet also very British way of responding to how, well, how your night you. had been going. I mean, obviously, it was beyond your wildest dreams to win three Emmys. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I still even hearing you say it then makes me go, no, that didn't happen. That just happened in my head. Was this a situation where, looking back, you, you, were, you were just happy to be there, and then it just went so beyond? Yeah, and we had a whole gang, like, uh, the, the team that makes feedback is quite small, and we'd all come out for it, so it just felt like we were the kind of naughty kids trying to get in through the back door. <laughs> then, we got there, then we were like, oh, no, what's happening? This is terrible. I feel like we were stealing them. And everybody reminds you, uh, you know, they say, even if you don't think you have a chance to win, you have to write a speech, but no one says write three speeches. <laughs> So at the end of the night, you really have to show your chops as a writer to come up with new stuff to say. Yeah, that was, um, that was a horrible moment when I was like, what if? And they were like, you don't want to tempt fate. Um, and so I think just repeating the jokes. <laughs> yeah. And I can't, really, it's so blurry what, what actually happened that night. I mean, it was, it was, it was amazing. Uh, I think, again, you, uh, you looked very glamorous that night. And then I think there are people that think there is something glamorous to writing. I don't know if you were young. I, when I was young, I thought of writing as this really glamorous endeavor that you yeah. could do with a, you know, a coffee and a, and a, a cozy and a... room and just... Uh, and I thought it was really lovely that you posted this photo. This is on your way to the Emmys. Yeah. You were writing. Yeah. Um, which is... Uh, yeah, no rest. No rest. No so rest you, I, I think this is such a helpful yeah. thing to young writers is even... Phoebe Waller-Bridge uh, was late with a script. Is that accurate? If you're writing... Oh, oh, that is not the first time. <laughs> either. Um, very much so not. Yeah, no, that was, that was honestly, I closed, the, I, we got the deadline just as we were pulling in, and it was like, <gasps> OK, let's go! <laughs> uh, it just it speaks to, again, uh, the complete... It seems like people are on the top of the world. You have so little power that even on the night of the Emmys, people were like, where is the script, Phoebe? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. It's actually, and it's kind of... Uh, it was, I was writing the end of um, the book that, of the scripts that's coming out, and I was writing all these, like, emotional bits about the people who had, you know, really influenced it. And so I actually got myself really riled up before I went there, because I was like, my director was just such an amazing guy. And they got there, so I was sort of really, uh, I was really in the right place. But it is, yeah, I mean, it's right up, up to the line. And that is, uh, so you're writing sort of, this is a collection of all the Fleabag scripts that's going to be for a book? Yeah, yeah. Now, I would assume then, after you win three Emmys, the publisher probably says, hey, you, you want to rewrite? The ending, because I mean, you really did add on a fantastic postscript to the entire thing. What? What do you? What do you mean? Well, you the book. Write... I feel like now, like in the part of the book that you have the Fleabag scripts, I feel like you should add also. Right as I finished this, I went out and won three Emmys. Oh no, that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I couldn't. As I was finishing it, I was like, and I'm on my way to the Emmys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, but I know yeah. you had said that this was the end of Fleabag, and it certainly has as uh, wonderful an ending as you could ever want for a piece of television. Um, <laughs> but I've also heard you say that maybe years from now you might revisit the character. Is there something? Yeah, I quite like the idea of uh, of coming back to her when, well, me, when I'm 50. Right. Because I feel like she would have had, you know, more life then, and God knows what she would have got up to. And actually <laughs> seeing, like, a character like that in a later stage of life, I think, is, is exciting. But I can't, I think for now, she's been through enough. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> We've got to let her go. let her let's have let's... <laughs> some rest. Yeah. Well-deserved exactly. rest. Uh, SNL this week, you're at the very beginning of the week. Yeah. Is this a show you had any sense of growing up in England? Yeah, but only really through YouTube and stuff. I mean, everyone was sharing all the skits and the clips and everything, but we didn't, it was never aired in the UK, so I didn't know the madness that it is and <laughs> yeah. how you create it and, uh, and how it's written and how fast, you know, we just thought it was a sketch show, like, that you have time to prepare for. <laughs> right. Um, and turns out you don't. You do really you? don't. <laughs> I mean, because at this point, again, so it's two Tuesday night, you have a show on yeah. Saturday, and it's safe to say, I know from experience, you haven't seen a single word yet. You haven't... No. Yeah. No. I mean, when did they do it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I've heard that today's the kind of calm before the storm. Yeah, it, I think tomorrow... I'll, I'm going to check in with you tomorrow just to yeah. see where I am. Can you just help me? Can you just yeah, help I'll me I'll try with a it? little bit, yeah. <laughs>